It comes as no surprise to anyone paying for food, rent or gasoline that prices are higher. With March inflation higher than predicted, there are new doubts on the Fed's goals to lower interest rates. It is a hot print and it is sticky. There is no, again, there's no indication that these rates are going substantially lower anytime soon. That means buyers will continue to pay higher interest on things like home and car loans. So what's causing it? It's simply the government spending too much money because the government also controls our currency. And that's a deadly combination. The typical American household spends $270 more per month on everyday goods than one year ago and over $1,000 per month more from three years ago, before inflation shot up to over 9% in 2022. The rising prices mean more Americans are using credit cards than ever before. The average household balance is about $11,000. All combined, our nationwide outstanding credit card debt is a staggering new high, $1.3 trillion. Most troubling is that nearly half of users can't pay their monthly balance. It means specifically that people are relying a lot on credit um, to get by month to month. And that is a not a great long-term tactic. That's because most annual percentage rates hover around 21%. Credit card debt, debt can snowball very quickly because of the interest rates. A recent survey found one in four Americans feel very stressed about their credit card debt. You can get in over your head very quickly with credit cards. Sometimes you can avoid the pitfalls. You can get a credit card that has a 0% APR on it, and you can do a balance transfer. Or ask for help. Talk to your lenders or your credit card companies. Give them a call if you can't, if you can't pay your bills on time. They want to work with you. In some cases, companies will reduce the minimum payment, interest rate, and fees, as well as offer a structured payment plan. Lori Johnson, CBN News. More and more Americans sitting on a mountain of debt. Gordon? And that mountain is going to really haunt us going forward. And, and here's, here's sort of a larger economic uh, analysis. The wholesale inflation report came in at 2.1%, which is in line with what the Federal Reserve was talking about. And they were talking actively of two rate cuts this year. All of that has been put on hold waiting for these inflation numbers. Now, the average American is like, what does that have to do with me? Well, here's what it has to do with you. If the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates, then that's going to come down to your credit card. And what is the interest rate on your balance on your credit card? If inflation continues, then the Fed's going to have no choice but to raise interest rates. And that's going to affect you because now those payments are going to be higher because the interest rate is higher. Some people are calling for an interest rate, a uh, Fed rate as high as 8%, which would absolutely stifle inflation, but for the average American would be a killer. Here's my advice. Please don't put consumer goods on a credit card. You're going to end up paying double for it. Do whatever you can to live within your income, whatever that takes, uh, whatever luxuries, whatever even necessities that aren't really necessities, can you do without? Because if you accumulate credit card, it's going to be something that haunts you for years to come. If interest rates go up, because if there is a war in the Middle East that involves Iran, what is going to happen to the price of oil? It's going to skyrocket. And that, that inflation is going to get baked in. The Fed won't have any choice but to raise rates, and you're going to be spending a whole lot more money on that balance in the years to come.